the Bible, a magnificent book that from cover to cover is about a story that is about waiting. And we start a season of Advent. We have, what's this called? Fork handles. No, um, sorry. An Advent wreath helping us count down the days until what? Christmas. How many days is it? 28. It depends where you are in the world. It's either 28 or 27. If you look it up on Google at the moment, it says 27 days, 13 hours, and something, something, seconds, etc., etc. Advent is about waiting, but not just for Christmas. That video just showed us that waiting in the Old Testament ended when Jesus came, but then the New Testament, there was still waiting. And Advent is also a time where we wait for Jesus to return. Who finds it easy to wait for something? Angela does. Probably Angela is the only one. This morning, I want to introduce you to some weights. And I want to also welcome Seth up. And Seth is going to help us with the first two points I want to make. Seth, um, welcome to your weights. When, we te- when I was teaching, um, I was a little bit naughty at times and would send a child to another class to ask a teacher for a long wait. Um, Seth, do take uh, the two weights in, in one hand. No, one in each hand. You okay there? Yeah. It's good. It's good. It's good. Um, could you start doing these kind of things? That's good. That's good. Waiting can be weighty. Waiting can be really, really hard. And in the Bible, in this passage in Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 to 4, so you doing okay? Right, yeah. It says, in the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets at many times and in various ways. If you have a name underneath your seat, could you please grab it and stand up? If you can see a name underneath a seat that someone else um, isn't sat in, grab that name and you stand up as well. Because in, in the book of Matthew... Sorry, how are you doing, Seth? Slowing down a bit. Slow, slowing down. Um, don't do yourself an injury. Um, if you want to pause, then that's fine. Just take a breather. In the book of Matthew, we see a list of names that include Abahud and Azor and Eliahud and Abijah and Akim and Zadok and Solomon and Matan and A- um, Azar uh, and Uzziah and Obed. And all these names of people stood up. Three lots of 14 generations, not just people, but generations of people between Abraham and when Jesus comes. And in this list of names, these are just normal people who have messed up and they need a savior. Seth, are you doing okay? Okay. (laughs) Waiting can be weighty. It can be hard. And God's people... Hey, mate, t- 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 just pause a sec. Just hold them there. That, that's cool. Um, waiting can be hard, and God's people have been waiting. There, 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 there we go. <laughs> have been waiting and waiting and waiting, and it was hard. Do you want to carry on? Sure. You carry on. <laughs> uh, you guys, you can sit down. Um, so what was God doing whilst the people were waiting? Well, this is the second part of the illustration, and Seth, you're almost done. Um, Whilst, whilst God's people were waiting, God was working. He was working on his people, getting them ready, getting them ready to receive his king, his Messiah. Okay, mate, you, you can stop. Just, just put them down there. Not, well, there. There we go. Give them a round of applause. Um, well, um, stretch. Stretch your arms and, and things. Um, Whilst we were waiting, and waiting can be weighty or heavy and hard, God is working. And throughout the Old Testament, we see God preparing his people and preparing the nations 
for the perfect kairos, perfectly timed moment for his son to be born. When there's peace across a whole empire, across uh, the Middle East and right th- through um, that kind of region, so that when the Messiah, his son, was born, the good news could spread really, really quickly. If you want to know more about that, go to the British Museum, have a look in the Greek and the Roman Empire sections where they show maps of Alexander the Great and and the Roman Empire and how during those 400 years between the end of Malachi and the beginning of the Gospels, there's a period where it just seems silent from heaven, but God is working. Waiting can be weighty, and whilst we, we are waiting, God is working, Hello? I need someone to help me, please. Come on, Joshua. Thank you, Josh. Now, the passage continues, and it says, In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. He spoke through the prophets. (laughs) Can you hear this? You can hear it because of the microphone, but also... He spoke in various ways. I wonder if God used one of these ever. No. Josh, do you realize that your name means God saves? And that God is salvation? And that God uh, comes into a world, when Jesus was born, he came into a world to save his people, save people from all the things that they've done against him and all of that kind of stuff? God's just used a telephone cup and and string to speak through various ways. Whilst we were waiting, whilst God's people, you can put it down there. Whilst, thank you very much. um, In the past, God spoke to our ancestors uh, through the prophets in various uh, ways. But in these last days, he has spoken to us through his son, whom he appointed heir of all things, and through whom also he made the universe. The Son, I'll just pause there. While we are waiting, and waiting can be weighty and hard, God is working, but He's also speaking. And He's spoken through lots of different ways, and He speaks through His Son, and He speaks through His words. Third thing, fourth thing, sorry. What's this? It's a mirror. What do you use a mirror for? To see yourself. I wonder what you would look at if you wanted to know what God was like. What does this passage say? Verse 3, the sun is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. After he had provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand um, of the majesty in heaven. The mirror is just a way of me showing that Jesus is a mirror image of God the Father. Whilst we are waiting, God is working. Whilst we are waiting, God is speaking. Whilst we are waiting, God is showing us exactly what he's like through Jesus. Not just waiting for Christmas, but waiting for Jesus to return. We've got time this morning where we can go deeper with this. If you want to make one of those telephone cup string things to help you learn more about God speaking or to remind you. You can go over just by the piano. If you want to make if you want to make one of these mirror baubles to remind you that Jesus is the exact representation. He's a mirror image of God. And you can put that up on your Christmas tree. Who's got their Christmas trees up? So far, one, two, three, four, okay. You can make one of those just over uh, where Steve Pendray is. Steve, give us a wave. Thank you. It might be that you want to just have uh, some time doing some drawing or some painting just out in the corridor. There are some tables set up where you can just express the fact that God is and has been at work. And there are times in our life when, you know when Seth was going, well, he wasn't making that noise, but it, it, was, it was getting harder and harder. When things get harder, 
You need to remember that God has worked in the past and that he is going to work again. And it might be that through painting or drawing, something will be really helpfully um, ministered to you by God's Holy Spirit this morning. If you would like to be active, up in the activity hall, there will be some games to play, and Seth will be leading those uh, games there. If you want to just um, open up God's words and explore this passage and the passage where those names are from, and just to say, if you want to hear a cracking sermon on uh, where those names are from, from Matthew chapter 1, on our website, um, maybe in 24 hours' time, you'll hear Jason's message from, from the 845 service this morning. Can I encourage you to go and listen to that? Um, but if you go to goldhill.org forward slash great wait or just scan that QR code, you will come to this discussion page where it says, um, from those passages in Hebrews chapter 1, Uh, And Matthew chapter 1, what can we learn about God? What can we learn about people? Is there an encouragement or promise? What am I going to do differently this Advent? And what am I going to share? We've got an opportunity to go deeper. And I'm going to pray, and then you're going to move. If you're joining us online, can I encourage you to engage with um, the the study um, and explore Scripture, unless you want to make... Uh, one of the things to yourself. Father, thank you that whilst we are waiting for you, you to return in glory and for us to be with you forever, thank you that you are working. Thank you that you are speaking. Thank you that you are showing us what you're really like. And we pray, Lord Jesus, that during this time, we will know that you are working in our lives. And we will seek that out. We'll know that uh, you are speaking to us and we will listen to your voice. And that we will see you in this place, in our lives. And that we will live this Advent differently. In Jesus' name, amen.